This is Brooke Drum with Printerbot.com, and I want to do a demo of our new printer app. And it assumes that you have a Printerbot, and we've loaded the filament, we've got it plugged in, it's already calibrated. Now your Chrome app, when you download and install, it's going to appear in your Chrome apps. So what you want is a blue cloud, you want an orange uh, computer, now the cloud's connected to the computer. So the next thing is I'm going to click on Models, and it's going to take me to the web app. This is what controls the printer. Now, let me see here. It's already logged in, so if it prompts you to log in, go ahead and log in. I'm going to upload a model. There it is. So once you've uploaded your model, click on it, and you'll see it in the viewer. Uh, you can move it around. Rotate on Z. Rotate on X. That's pretty much it right now. We're going to Click print. I'm going to leave the quality is standard, the material is PLA, and the infill is standard, and click print. Now, it says my printer is offline, so this little button up here will connect. You can use that one or this one, and it's going to try to connect to the printer. If you have problems, like we did just there, I'm going to unplug USB, plug it back in, and now I'm connected. Okay? So we're getting the Chrome app to communicate. Connect all the dots. Click print. It's going to probe Z. After it probes, it will show you on this little print box, printer box here, um, the temperature of what's warming up your extruder and your bed, but this doesn't have a heated bed, so it'll read zero. So we should see there it is, preheating. And the um, Printhead is only at 116, so it's going to take a moment to warm up. There it goes. Right around 205, and it's told me that it's printing. It's going to print a skirt, so it's going to circle the wagons a couple of times to get that filament uh, primed and coming through the extruder. It'll shift over, start printing the file that you've chosen. So, hope you enjoy the app.